This is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition. Just imagine a fully electric car, not some uh, glorified golf car, but a real <laughs> sports car that gets more than 150 miles per charge. I like that image. Yeah. It's real and it's part of a new wave of technology here in the Valley. The first electric vehicle charging station was installed this week at the Rampart Casino and more on the way. I'd team reporter Jonathan Humbert joins us now. Is this making a comeback or is this all new? Well, it's just a little bit of both but with a new, more fun edge and they're called plug-in electrics. Using your regular out lets at home or new remote charging stations, your car can be filled up with juice in minutes while you go run errands. Casinos want in on it and so does the city. Only this time, no more silly looking cars. Away we go. You know what they say. Typically they're, they're high performance, they're very quiet. It's what's on the inside that counts. I feel like a Jetson. For this Porsche 911, it's boatloads of batteries, a fully electric car conversion. And our gas tank now has a plug. It retains all of the handling. The batteries keep the weight balance. Bob Rosinski runs EV Charge America. His company does conversions like this, but their newest innovation is a charging station, a radical new gas station. If you can't charge up at home for pennies a day, try this. 80% of charge within 30 minutes. The first is at the Rampart Casino Valet. Go inside for some gaming and come out to a fully charged car. Using a subscription service and a unique club car, Unlimited charging can go for as little as 20 bucks a month. A grand idea, juiced up enough to work. The future, ready today. Okay, now the tough part in all this, the price. Full electric conversions like that Porsche, ripping out the internal combustion engine and getting that 150 to 200 mile battery system, that runs you about 10 to 12 grand. Now there are going to be more fully electric cars, those should be hitting the market next year. EV Charge and all of this, they're still waiting to hear if they're going to get some stimulus money for some of those green projects that could help bring more electricity to your garage. Guys? Hmm. Thanks, Jonathan. All right.